Hey, what's up guys? This is Danny from TechRage. Now, if you're like me who purchased Ballistic Overkill, which is an FPS shooter native to Linux, and you're experiencing that black screen bug, well, you're not alone. There are actually quite a few people that actually are experiencing this bug. Um, more than I thought, really. I thought it was maybe an isolated incident for me. Uh, I just thought that maybe I had to do my graphics card, maybe my distro, and so I did change a few things around, maybe tried even different drivers, and nothing. And by the way, all the rest of my games worked just fine. It was just this game. Um, so I finally came across a solution. I'm not sure whether it's temporary or it's going to be imp permanently implemented by the company that created Ballistic Overkill. <clears throat> But I did find it underneath underneath the discussion page here in the link section for Ballistic Overkill. Um, I'll be leaving the link down below for your convenience. So open up the discussion page and you'll see it right here. It'll be the second from the top pin conversation right here. And uh, this guy, Mac Max 78 proposed this code that you can input for the game in order for it to work just fine. Uh, he said, uh, I've tested this on two different versions of Linux Mint. Hopefully it works for all Debian slash Ubuntu based distributions. So you need to copy this code into the game and then it should work just fine. But keep in mind though, a few people still are experiencing this bug even after you input this code. So it may not work for you. It may, it just, you know, it depends on trying it out, but also Make sure you understand that you're doing this at your own cost Because when you deal with that window, which um, you'll see later on um, It is only meant for advanced users who know what they're doing and if you input something wrong or You decide to put something else in the future there. It can wreck your game I'm not sure as to how severe it can get but it can mess things up. So keep in mind that uh, you're doing this at your own experiment to see if it works. Okay guys, so it's pretty easy. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention too, I also created a blog post for this video. So I'll be leaving the link down below to this blog post. Um, it also has the links within the post for the discussion page and a quick how to as to how to put in the code yourself. But we'll be going through that right now. And I'll be showing you the game launching and it working just fine, but it may seem a bit distorted. There, I'm still experiencing this issue when it, when coming to screen capturing. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what the issue is at this point. I've tried many methods, but uh, I may just have to buy an external video capture card just for me to get some good quality game capture going on the system. But uh, yeah, anyways, so... Let's get straight into this guys. So you want to make sure you click on Ballistic Overkill. Once you click on it, go to Properties. Well, right click and go to Properties. Then you want to click Set Option Launch. Wait, Set Launch Options. Then all you got to do is paste in the code here, which remember it's in the post or in the discussion page. Click OK. Close. And that's it. That's really it. There's really nothing else to it and it should work just fine. You can launch the game immediately after, just like that. Okay. So it may seem a bit laggy on the recording, it may not, I'm not too sure. Uh, it just depends on how the video ends up coming out at the end. But the game is working just fine from personal experience, like right, right now as I'm running it, as I'm seeing it right now with my own eyes. It is working just fine, no lagginess whatsoever. Uh, let's go to community servers, browse servers, and I can browse through all these servers that are available for me to play on. I can go to my soldier category and I can view all my soldiers here. And by the way, if you haven't played this game, uh, you should really consider getting it. It's a really fun game, um, not expensive at all. I think right now it's currently running for like 15 bucks on the Steam store. And uh, man, it is fast paced. It is very fast paced. You see, you can go through different skins. Very fast paced and very fun. See there.
You see, I would show some gameplay, but it would be kind of like kind of laggy, and I don't think it's even worth it. But I, I can promise you, I can guarantee you that this works for me, and um, if it works for you, if you get to this state here, then uh, you'll be more than fine to just play the game. Now, as for what it does, oh, I'm to cancel here. As for what the fix does, it seems like it takes. It doesn't let the game get to full screen at initial launch, but uh, then it looks like me looks like at least from what the way I'm seeing it, uh, the game relaunches. Well, it kind of auto corrects itself through the process real fast, and uh, it launches itself in full screen. Now I'm not too sure. I, I really have no idea, but uh, this is just me, uh, you know, trying to break down what it says there. Uh, but yeah, guys, you see, it works just fine for me. And I actually have played a few games as... Oh, why am I always pressing that? Go, go to home. As it says here, uh, you see, I already have some progress going on. Only one headshot. Yeah, I'm not the greatest in this game. I'm not. Uh, but there are actually some really interesting characters in this game. Really interesting. Like, there's a guy that can go um, full invisible. Well, you know, you can see some of his outline, but he's pretty much an assassin. And um, yeah, he's just taking people left left and right. It's very fast paced. Um, I really do like the maps on this game too. Man, are they pretty fun to play on. Uh, but yeah guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know down below if the fix helped you. And uh, yeah, um, I also remember to check out the website for a written version of this video. And that's it guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.